Hey, good morning, everyone. I uh, hope y'all are well. I'm going to go ahead and um, get us started. Um, so one thing the Holy Spirit was highlighting, um, if you're in Houston, I don't know what side everybody is on, but um, it is raining again. And so um, the Holy Spirit just kind of had me just kind of sit with that, the fact that you know, he has released some more rain. And so he started highlighting some scriptures. Um, the first one he highlighted was Isaiah 55, 10. And um, let me get to it. Um, okay, and this is the New English Transition. Transition. Uh, translation it says the rain and snow fall from the sky and do not return but instead water the earth and make it produce and yield crops and provide seed for the planter and food for those who must eat and then he led me to Hosea 10 12 And it says, sow righteousness for yourselves, reap unfailing love, break up the unplowed ground for yourselves, for it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers deliverance on you. And so as he was um, having me read through that, he started to highlight the word plow. And um, I'm not uh, farming or agriculture person so I know it only had to be the Holy Spirit Um, but I was looking up plow and it means to turn up the earth an area of land with a plow it means to uproot to bring back soil to the original phase it requires focus so that you will plow in straight lines and then that reminded me of Luke um, 962 and in Luke 9.62, let me pull that up. Um, so in Luke 9.62, he, um, it was interesting, he had another follower. And he told someone, he said, follow me. And that person was like, well, first, can I, you know, say bye to my family? And, you know, um... You know they wanted to they wanted to just give a proper walk a proper exit, and Jesus said to him, "No one puts his hand to the plow and looks back. It's no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God." And when he's saying that, so if you if you know anything about plowing, like it requires focus, and you can't look back, you can't be distracted in that process. And, you know, the Holy Spirit was just highlighting how when it comes to plowing, like it really is an uprooting of it's a breaking that takes place. And it's an uprooting of things that um, like it just needs to get this this bad, ugly um, stuff out. So that way that fresh soil, that original state of the soil can be on top. And it was interesting because I was looking um at what does like you know just information about plowing and they say the best times for plowing are october november or february and i thought that was um definitely not a coincidence considering we are in october and there has been this heavy call to allow the holy spirit to do some plowing even within us and you know just following that theme of you know farming and agriculture It was interesting that the after plowing comes tilling and tilling is what makes the soil soft and um, friable and friable means like, you know, crumbly, easily um, adaptable to where you can, you know, manipulate it. And then you have leveling and that's what creates that uniformity, that evenness and the Holy Spirit likened that to the process that he has a lot of his children experiencing this season 
where he is having us go through a plowing and then he is tilling. And when I think of tilling, the Holy Spirit was highlighting the heart, you know, how with the plowing, it is breaking the hardness of the heart It's breaking those areas that, um, that we have yet to allow him to fully function in. And then the softening, the tilling, and then the leveling is that renewing, that renewal taking place, that you, building uniformity with him and his, and his ways to where our heart is now in a place where it's, it's ready for him. It's ready for him to do the work, to start making the deposits. Because one thing we realize is that, you know, if you make a deposit or you plant something in bad soil, it's not going to produce. And so he has to do some things in and through us, well, some things in us before he can even start depositing some things. And so I thought it was just interesting how, you know, it talks about like the the planting and the fertilizing and, you know, making sure those nutrients are in there. And then I saw the irrigation phase and that was the watering. But I noticed it said it's a controlled amount of water to help the plants. And when I think about the rain, like, yes, we know typically that represents, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, pouring down, cleansing and things like that. But um, just the way the rain has been functioning, I know for sure in Houston, it was very, um, it was very interesting just how sometimes it just comes out the blue. Sometimes it's harder. Sometimes it's lighter. But whatever the case may be. It's helping. It's helping something grow. And so even with that, the Holy Spirit was just reminding me of how, you know, he, how he is watering us, you know, through his word. And it can look different. You know, he may send vessels and helpers to help with that watering process. And then it highlighted the weeding. And, you know, when something is planted and when it's growing, and, you know, you're watering it, you still have to watch out for those weeds to make sure they don't get mixed up with what you're um, producing. And so, you know, he just reminded, he called that maintenance. And I recognize, like, we do that when we spend time with him because then he starts highlighting the different things about us that need to be ripped out. You know, it's kind of like when you're, you know you've been walking with God and something something bad or something from the past, like something pops up and you're like, where is this coming from? But we deal with it. Like we, he doesn't allow us to just sit with it because it, it has the ability to contaminate what he's trying to produce. And sometimes the weeding looks like as physical as removing people. It looks as physical as removing bad habits. So it's like that stripping away of things that could contaminate what he's trying to produce. And then that harvesting phase, which is the last phase. And that's where, you know, the, the plants or whatever you are planting is now produced and it's ready to be taken out and whatnot. And so he was just showing, use, utilizing this whole farming agricultural process to kind of show how he's working with us now. And, you know, he was just emphasizing just that plowing phase. Because yes, there you know we we are believing God for harvest, but sometimes we got to go back and understand that we got to make sure our foundation. We have to make sure our soil is um at its original state. And when I say original, not original in our eyes, but original in God's eyes, how He originally created us. And so I just thought it was really significant as He was releasing this revelation and. It's important for us to understand the importance of all of those phases, because like I said, when you plant in bad soil, it won't produce. Um, and God is about us producing right now. And so I definitely just encourage you to, you know, just meditate on those um, scriptures. I would even read all of Isaiah 55 because it definitely is just a significant portion of scripture in this season but allow the Holy Spirit to, to give further revelation about what are those things that he is breaking, uprooting within you 
in order to ensure that he can begin to plant some things and deposit some things so it can re reap a, a harvest, a good harvest um, for his glory and according to his purpose and plan for your life. And so um, that was um, what he was sharing this morning.